Bringing home the math, a program for parents and preschoolers. Lesson five: Spatial concepts. Can you crawl in the tunnel? Inside, outside, above, below, left, and right. The meaning of these words is clear to adults, but to young children, these spatial concepts are abstract, and their meaning must be learned. Find the circle on top of the insect form. Thank you. Today, in part five of NJN's six-part series, Bringing Home the Math, we'll take a look at spatial concepts. We'll show you how three, four, and five-year-olds are relating to the world in brand new ways, and how you can support your child's learning by playing some fun math games at home. Now, does this look just like this one? Yeah. Very good, you did a great job, good girl. Where are you, Asanaya? Out of the tunnel. Out of the tunnel, good words. To learn about spatial concepts like in, out, above, and below, preschoolers in Asbury Park's Bradley Elementary School navigate an obstacle course. Can you crawl under Curiosity Cat? Where are you, Jayana? Under Curiosity. You are under Curiosity. We're going to talk about where our bird is by the cloud, okay? At Edmund Himaleski Jr. Early Childhood Center in Perth Amboy, these colorful cards help make the lesson clear. How about where's he now? On the He's on the cloud. Understanding the relative position of objects to other objects or to people is a necessary foundation for grasping more complex mathematics down the road. Well, spatial relations can be thought of as part of geometry. So we have, in geometry, we have not only, well, this is a certain shape, but we also have, well, if this is over here and that's over here, what's the relation between the two? So can you move it so it's behind the flowers? Whether using a high-tech smart board or going on a simple scavenger hunt, students study spatial concepts and follow multi-step directions. Teachers say it's easy to tell which students' parents work with them at home. The children who is better able to follow one to three step or multi-step direction, it shows that parents actually do incorporate strategies that I recommend in the classroom with their child. It shows a lot and they, they are more comfortable in demonstrating the concepts I'm looking for. To encourage more involvement at home, math education expert Barbrina Ertl has designed some simple downloadable activities about spatial relations that get parents and grandparents talking with children about these abstract ideas. It's more about vocabulary development, being able to communicate those ideas and understand what we're talking about when we mention those ideas. Elaborate on it, think about it, make it explicit, talk about it, and that's, that's the main job that parents can do. Jump as high as you can back in the hoop. <gasps> when it comes to spatial concepts, practice giving your child simple directions to follow related to left, right, in, out, above, and below. Next, try multiple simultaneous positions. For example, place the book on top of the table and under the apple. You also can ask her to describe several positions of an object. For example, this plate is to the right of the fork. It's to the left of the knife. It's in between the fork and the knife, and it's also on the table. You never know what you'll discover when you start exploring space with a child you love. Just an enjoyment to see what she has learned and she likes to make me proud and the people she lives with proud of her, what her accomplishments are. And um, we just want her to do well in life. 
Browse NJN's Bringing Home the Math website to find activities, literature lists, and other resources about how to help your young child learn more about spatial concepts. Funding for NJN's Bringing Home the Math program for parents and preschoolers has been provided by Bank of America.